If you watched my last video on confidence, you know that confidence isn't something you have, it's something you do. Confidence is a skill. So just like any other skill, if you want to get better, you have to practice your confidence every day. Now I'm coming out with an ebook on confidence in a couple weeks, so keep your eyes open. But in this video, I just want to give you two ideas on how you can use your confidence to get yourself in the right state of mind. Next time you are starting to doubt yourself, maybe you're in a high pressure situation, things aren't going your way, I want you to stop and I want you to think about your favorite player. Who's your biggest role model in soccer, football, whatever you call it? Who's your biggest role model? In that moment, the same moment that you're in, how would they be thinking? I want you to think about how would they be thinking, how would they be talking to themselves in their head and compare it to the way you're thinking. Okay, maybe you're about to take a penalty shot, maybe you're getting subbed on, maybe you're not playing so well. Okay, what would your role model, a great player, be thinking, talking, saying to themselves in their head? Okay? Chances are they're using positive self-talk, they're believing in themselves, they're getting themselves into a into a mental state, into a physical state of self-belief. And that's what I want you to do. The second idea I want you to think about if you're really struggling with confidence or self-belief is being in the moment, okay? Focusing on what you can control right now. The reality is that most players, and all of us as human beings, is we're never actually really most of the time, we're never thinking about what we're actually doing. Instead, we're thinking about what could happen in the future or what has happened in the past. So for example, if I'm about to receive a pass, instead of actually focusing on the skill, focusing on getting my body positioning right, shielding off the defender, focusing on having a great touch, really using my technique properly, instead of focusing on that, instead, in most situations, I'm focusing on the bad touch that I had two, two seconds ago or two minutes ago, or having a bad touch and all my teammates yelling at me. So how can we play to the best of our ability or execute our skills to the best of our ability when we're not even focusing on what we're doing right now? So think about that, being in the moment rather than focusing on the future or the past.